Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is lecture number two of Vector Algebra. We have discussed some questions today. Now, question number one. exercise 9.5 we have to find dot product of two given vectors for example u is a vector which is equal to 6 to minus 3 and v is another vector Minus 1, 8, 4. U can be written as 6i cap plus 2j cap minus 3k cap. And V can be written as minus i cap plus 8j cap plus 4k cap. And we have to find u dot v. The dot product of the given vectors. Because we are given components, so we use a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3. Where a1, a2, a3 are the components of first vector which is u and b1, b2, b3 are the components of second vector which is v. So put the values 6 into minus 1 plus question question number two we have to find cause of angle between the given vectors we have to find cos theta where theta is the angle between the given vectors like u previous vector which is equal to 6 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 3k cap and v is equal to minus i cap plus 8j cap plus 4k cap now we know that u dot v is equal to magnitude of u into magnitude of v into cos of theta so cos theta will become u dot v divided by magnitude of u into magnitude of v so First we find u dot v, u dot v is equal to again a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 means 6 into minus 1 plus 2 into 8 plus minus 3 into 4. A1, A2, A3 are the components of first vector U and B1, B2, B3 are the components of second vector V. 
what is equal to minus 6 plus 16 minus 12 equals to minus 2. Now we find magnitude of vector u by using magnitude formula which is x square plus y square plus z square within a square root. plus z square r is equal to the square root of 6 square plus 2 square plus minus 3 square equals to the square root of 36 plus 4 plus 9 the square root of 49 which means 7. Now we find magnitude of V which is again equals to magnitude formula root x square plus y square plus z square it is equal to square root of <coughs> minus 1 square plus 8 square plus 4 square equals to square root of 1 plus 64 plus 16 square root of 81 equals to 9 now come to again u dot v u dot v is equal to magnitude of u into magnitude of v into cos of angle between u and v so cos theta it becomes u dot v divided by magnitude of u into magnitude of v now u dot v is equal to minus 2 magnitude of u is 7 magnitude of v is none now it is equal to minus 2 upon 63 Here is the result of cos of angle between vector A, vector U and vector V. Now come to next question. <coughs> if we are given three points Point A is one zero zero. Point B is minus two one two. And point C is minus five two zero. And we have to find cos of angle B. For finding cos of angle B, we form vectors from B. Suppose it is point A, it is point B, and it is point C. To draw two vectors 
first one is vector from b to a and second one is vector from b to c if we use vector from b to a and from b to c we can find cos of angle between these two vectors the formula of dot product b to a vector dot b to c vector is equal to magnitude of b to a vector into magnitude of b to c vector into cos of angle between vector b to a and b to c which is angle b so cos of angle b is equal to b to a vector dot b to c vector divided by their magnitudes b to a vector b to c vector their magnitudes now for finding cos of angle b we find their dot products and their magnitudes so first we find b to a vector it is equal to a minus b a is equal to 1 0 0 minus b is equal to minus 2 1 2 it is equal to 1 minus into -2 0 1 Zero minus two. X component minus x component, y component minus y component, and z component minus z component can be written as three minus one minus two means three i cap minus one j cap minus two k cap. Similarly, we find b to c vector. It is c minus b. C is equal to minus five two zero. B is equal to minus two one two. It is equal to <coughs> minus five. Minus into minus two plus two two minus one zero minus two. It is equal to minus three one minus two. Can be written as minus three i cap plus one j cap minus two k cap. Now, <clears throat> now dot product of b to a vector and b to c vector. Is again a one b one plus a two b two plus a three b three. Where a one, a two, a three are the components of first vector, which is b to a vector, and b one, b two, b three are the components of second vector, which is b to c vector. Now, 
ए वन इज थ्री बी वन इज माइनस थ्री ए टू इज माइनस वन बी टू इज वन ए थ्री इज माइनस टू एंड बी थ्री इज माइनस टू इट बिकम्स माइनस नाइन माइनस वन प्लस फोर इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स ना वी फाइंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी टू ए वैक्टर विच इज इक्वल टू मैग्नीट्यूड फॉर्मूला स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर और इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ नाइन प्लस वन प्लस फोर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर्टीन नाउ वी फाइंड वैक्टर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वैक्टर फ्रॉम बी टू सी अगेन वी यूज मैग्नीट्यूड फॉर्मूला स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस जेड स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ माइनस थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर equals to square root of 9 plus 1 plus 4 square root of again 40 now come to cos of angle from b to a angle between b to a vector and b to c vector which is b to a vector dot b to c vector divided by magnitude of b to a vector into magnitude of b to c vector now dot product is minus 6 magnitudes of b a and b c vectors Uh, square root fourteen into square root fourteen equals to minus six divided by fourteen minus three upon seven. It is the angle between these two vectors. Now. One important thing is, if question is find cos of angle A, we form vector from A. The first one is vector from A to B. Second one is vector from A to C. if we use these two vectors we can find cos of angle a ab dot vector from a to c is equal to magnitude of vector ab into magnitude of vector ac into cos of angle between 
these vectors which is cos of angle A. So cos of angle A it becomes vector AB dot vector AC divided by magnitude of vector AB into magnitude of vector AC. Now if question is find cos of angle C if we have to find cos of angle C listen carefully suppose this point is A this point is B and this point is C first we form vector from C to A and C to B so C to A vector and second one is C to B vector. The angle between these two vectors is angle C. The formula becomes vector from C to A dot vector from C to B is equal to magnitude of C A vector into magnitude of C B vector into cos of angle between vectors which is angle C. So formula for finding cos of angle C is equal to C to A vector dot C to B vector divided by magnitude of C to A vector into magnitude of C to B vector. That's all.